Hey everyone, Geo Badger here bringing you guys another geocaching related video. Today we're out here in the desert. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Wow, look at that view over there, man. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a little clearer shot for you guys. I don't know, it doesn't show that well on my camera, but with the naked eye, it's absolutely gorgeous look at that desert landscape desert landscape is one of my favorite landscapes other than uh you know a forest beach not so much anyways guys we're out here hiding another cache almost tripped um out here hiding another cache and this one just a small dedication to solar power as you can see modified this uh cheap little solar light to house a geocache inside well the string's supposed to fall out so people can grab it and pull the log out but yeah I modified this that's just a little dedication to solar power you know I love renewable energy so uh, this is just one of my dedications to it in the form of a geocache and as always we're not too far from the gun range uh, it's right over Actually, it's a it was a cache right over there, I believe. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and we climbed up there. I think that was in uh, uh, caching with Badger. What five or six? One of those. Yeah, and this, the range is right over there. But anyways, I here placing this one. It does work. Make sure it works before I put it out there. And before I put it out here, and we're probably going to. Uh, I want it too far from the road. Hmm. Well, put in a little bit of sunlight so people can see it, but I'm trying to find an area where it can get sunlight and so it can recharge its battery and it can be shit, uh, seen at night, but also don't want to be seen by anyone who's not geocaching. So we're kind of in a conundrum. Let's see. Uh, odds are nobody's going to be able to see it. No one really comes over here at nighttime. Unless they're camping, but I doubt. I mean, that's a rarity. And I don't see any signs of human activity in this general area that I'm standing in. Maybe we can put inside one of these little, these little uh, bushes here. And there it can charge and be well hidden. Well, semi-hidden. But the problem is we have to find the right bush. I don't want to put anything so big. Cause I want, I'm want i going to set this up as a nighttime cache where it can be seen at night so it would be able to be found. So I'm not going to put it too far from the road. Let's check this, this out. All right, definitely get sunlight. I think this might actually work. I should have brought a hammer to hammer the stake in. Crap. Okay. Um... Hmm. I guess I can use one of these rocks. Just have to be careful not to break the thing. I do hear some dirt bikers in the uh, background, but given how flat this terrain is and the lack of tra uh, dirt bike tracks, I don't. I don't think the risk is low. So we'll go with this. We'll go with this one here. It's not too far. There's the geomobile in the background. Lovely little beast. And so we're not too far from the road. I mean, if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. Hmm. Probably this bush. That way, they'll have to walk in. So, I'm trying to keep an obscured view here. So, let's try this here. There. I don't think... I mean, if somebody was to go walking by, these bushes right here will block the view of the light. But by the time they get there, they're probably just keep looking and keep on on their way so we'll go with this bush here now um, make sure it gets some light unless I have to do some oh wait the soil is actually softer I can do it there probably have to maybe uh, cut a few of the little leaves off but I don't know I think that looks fine I want to hammer that stake in a little bit more though yeah we'll do that okay cool all right I think this is set up all right guys I want to thank you guys for joining me on this short geocaching hide, and I'll see you next time.